How's it guys? So welcome to my home studio. My name is Kelly. For those of you that are new here and on my channel, I like to share planner videos, art videos, crafts, recipes, DIYs, mixed media, happy meal and hauls, fountain pens, and fountain pen ink. And sometimes I will throw in a lifestyle video. So if any of those genres sound appealing to you, feel free to comment, like, share, and subscribe. It is free after all. So, without further ado, I wanted to do some more ink swatching. And I picked these three colors to feature today. I have one of the new ones by Diatromentis. And this is pearlescent ink. It's called Whiskey Brown Gold. They also have silver versions of all of the new pearlescent inks. So, you can go check those out. And I have Diamine Emerald Green. And, well, it's just called Emerald. And then Diamine Evergreen. So two greens and a brown. So let's just jump right in and see what we're going to do. Um, or see how these turns out, turn out. I have played with these three inks. I've never inked up with them and I haven't done my swatches. So it is a long process actually doing the swatches, but... Um, for those of you who have never done it, like me previously, it is well worth the all of the effort and time that you invest in doing it. And that way you can see exactly what you have, relatively speaking, because as you know, or may not know, ink will show up differently in different pens, depending on what pen it is, what brand of pen it is, what kind of nib it has, and the paper you use. So all of those factors do play a role in what the ink will turn out looking like. But at least if you have a swatch or three so I do three swatches, four swatches when I do my swatching because it does show up differently on different surfaces, like I said. So I have it in my Tomoi River Paper 68 GSM. This is um, a Taroko Shop Enigma notebook. I also do it on the color ring cards and I do it on the cap of the bottle because I store my bottles like this inside a drawer um, because the ink is photosensitive just like essential oils. You want to protect the integrity of it so um, that is how I store them. And then I do a paintbrush swatch on this side and I do a pipette swatch on this side. So, and when I ink up, I also use different papers, Lloyd's Term 1917 paper, as well as um, 52 GSM Tomoe River paper in my um, Hobonichi notebook. So... And I have a ton of other different papers, but those are the papers, paper that I'm focusing on as of right now. Um, and in the future, you just never know, I might include another swatch book. But for now, this is what I want to do. And I think it gives me a good generalized idea. They do GSM Tomoe River Paper, which I initially started with. They do behave differently. Now, I went with this 68 GSM paper because it's thicker, but it does show up a lot differently than it does on the 52 GSM and the Hobonichi, all of the Hobonichi papers. So, I like both of them. My preference is the 52 GSM paper, actually, and I've just discovered this recently as I've been Gaining experience doing these swatches, I mean, you just learn things um, by osmosis when you're doing something, right? So, I just think it sheens a lot nicer, but I like this for my actual swatch book. So, I am perfectly happy with this, and I'm going to continue to use this, um, as well as my Lloyd's Term 1917, which... Some inks feather on that one more than they do on the Tomoy River paper, but that being said, there has been some feathering, and I'll show you because 
I wasn't looking for it, but I just so happened to spot it when I was looking for a color. There is feathering. This one right here by Jack Airbin. That is feathering. You can see it right there. So, no matter what paper you use, I mean, some inks might just feather. So, there's that. But, anyway, let's just get to it. And I hope you enjoy, and I'll catch you on the flip side.
And in case anybody was wondering, I'm also doing swatches on vellum. And I love the way it looks. It dries nicely and it doesn't come off. Um, usually I do it on paper, but I wanted to dry vellum. I do it on HP copy paper just to save myself the cleanup. And I also like to use those in my art journal. Same premise for these. And I also use tissue paper. And that turned out really nice too. And so... Here it is on the tissue paper. So if you're into art journaling, that's a, like a free way of getting more bang for your buck, if you will, you know, because you're just going to clean it up anyway. So you might as well do it with a purpose and have an intention behind um, the paper. So you get more use out of your ink anyway. So there's that. Happy, happy, happy with that. And I've been doing that for several days, so. All right, let's get into it. So we have Diatromentus first up. Um, pearlescent Whiskey Brown in the gold version. Here it is in the bottle. It's beautiful. There's the cap. And it is a nice, like, yellow ochre-ish brown. Gorgeous. It has, it's super shiny and shimmery, and it sheens like you wouldn't believe. It's gorgeous, really gorgeous. And then here is the color swatch, color ring. Oh, yes. Pipette. I think it's worth doing the different versions of the swatching so you can see just what it does on different papers and whatnot. All right, next up we have Diamine Emerald. And I've used, I played with these three colors before in um, my Hobonichi notebooks, my notebook. And so I knew what these look like. I've never inked up with them, but I wanted to have my swatch nonetheless. So there it is, gorgeous green color, like the Wizard of Oz, some depth with blue and black undertones. Very, very pretty. Here is the color ring swatch. It's a nice, beautiful green. Look at that. Even. Yeah, you can really see that depth of color coming out on this color ring down here. And along here and here and here and here. And even maybe some purple. Nice color. Okay. Off to see the wizard, as it were. And last but not least, we have Diamine Evergreen. And this is a gorgeous, deep, dark green color with burgundy and black undertones. Simply lovely. So if you want to draw with these, because I like to do a lot of nature drawing, trees, mountains, stuff like that. I just do. Um, this is a nice color to do that with. And it's nice to be able to mix the colors too. So that way with the tree, it'll be like the lights hitting it. You know what I mean? And to create that effect. So here it is. Pipe that version. And of course I have ink all over me, but and there it is, I don't mind. Eventually it comes off. <laughs> I take a couple of baths. A couple baths, but, you know, <laughs> what else is new? I usually bathe at least twice a day, so I always have, anyway. And I am a water baby for sure. That is for sure. I remember I used to live in Hawaii. And we went to Sandy's quite often. Sandy's Beach. And to get there, it's in Kailua. You um, pass Makapu. And anyway... But in between the highway, there's this big, well, at least there used to be back in the day, I don't know, 
probably still is because it's very popular. People fly kites because it's super duper windy over there. Because you have the Malka breeze and the ocean breeze. So it just hits just so. So people do a lot of um, kite flying and whatnot. So anyway, so when you go to Sandy's, the sand is really deep and you sink in. Like it's not the sand that's like powder like at Kailua or Lanikai. Um, shore breaks, we call it. <laughs> that's what we call it shore breaks um and the point at Lanikai but anyway so you sink in so my sister she's she has RSD my older sister so whenever we would go to that beach um they would carry her they would see her walking with her crutches in the sand because she walks with dual crutches that hook up to your elbow those kind and so they would see her and then they would come right over like a bunch of guys, local boys, and carry her on their surfboard to our spot, wherever that was. So anyway, and then we would go, she wouldn't go deep in the water, but my younger sister and I would. So we would go swim out and the break where you surf is way, way out there. Um, but we would just swim out there, you know, and then it's really, really deep once you go start going in it it drops down so it's really cool to look at um just swimming I mean just naturally <laughs> and they I remember when we first went there they were yelling like some of the guys were yelling watch for snappers and they're snapper turtles because they'll bite your finger off you know and we would we saw bunches a bunch of them the turtles the snappers and uh, those little buggers, you, they are fast. So, I mean, none of them bothered us or anything, the turtles. But, you know, it's fun to see that. It's really, really cool. So, anyway. Now, why did I think of that all of a sudden? What triggered that? I don't know, but it did. Maybe because, and look at this evergreen bottle. Like, the lid looks blue. Maybe that's it because I was thinking of the ocean. And it's this. And look how the lid looks. It looks blue. And this is a green. The ever, this is the evergreen. Like, what? So it has some major blue tones in it. All right, so let's do my favorite part, shall we? Because you know what that is. Let's pick our favorite. Now, this shouldn't be as hard because... We, so we have Whiskey Brown. We have Emerald. And we have Evergreen. Which one is your favorite? If you had to pick just one... And I know mine would be the Whiskey Brown Gold. It's gorgeous. I love it. I love ochre. I love rain, but it does it for me. So, all right. If you care to share, what's your favorite color yeah. out of these three? I'd love to hear in the comments below. So, that's all, my friends, for this video. I hope it enlightened you and gave you some more ideas of what you can do with your ink. And you know, incorporate it into your art journal or even just your planner. Or if you just keep a journal, you could do, um, you know, a tip in. If you have some washi or just tape, just tape it in there. It's really, creates really cool effects anyway. So, or just tear it because that's the latest thing for several years now is tearing things. So it's jagged and messy and organic and all that good kind of fun stuff. Okay, guys, have a great day, and I wish you well. Peace out.